One of the highlights of President-elect Park's minister nominees was Korean-American Kim Jong-hoon, who was tapped to lead the newly created Ministry of Creative Future Science, which Park hopes will play a key role in jump-starting the economy by combining science and technology with industry. Kim Anul tells us who he is. Kim Jong-hoon's nomination as the head of the Future Creation and Science Ministry is just the latest in a series of achievements and promotions that has made his life look like a picture of the American dream. Born in 1960 in Seoul, Kim immigrated to the United States at the age of 15. Despite the language barrier, he went on to complete his undergraduate studies at Johns Hopkins University and eventually earned his doctoral degree at the University of Maryland. In 1992, Kim founded a tech equipment firm called UD Systems, and after just five years, he managed to sell the company for around $1 billion U.S. dollars. In 2005, he became the chief of the renowned Bell Labs, a subsidiary of the French-owned Alcatel Lucent, and currently serves as the chief strategy officer for the parent company. Now, all eyes are on Kim's nomination to the new science ministry, which came as a surprise to most political observers. The brand new ministry Kim has been tapped to lead is part of the incoming president's ambitious plans to revive the economy by creating jobs through investing in new technologies. And few expected that the president-elect would nominate a Korean-American businessman with no political experience to the top government post. While pundits believe Kim's successful IT track record make him a good fit for the job, the issue of his citizenship could be the biggest obstacle to his appointment and is likely to be debated during his confirmation hearing. Kim regained his South Korean citizenship last week and has vowed to give up his U.S. citizenship. Critics, however, worry whether he will truly be able to represent Korea in sensitive, high-level negotiations. Kim Anul, Arirang News.